hokey pokey. It's a very super early morning, but uh oh man I need to play Pokemon. <clears throat> All right, so there are mass outbreaks occurring. Let's see if there's anything good. Oh, mass outbreak of Rufflet. That might be cool. Two mystery Pokemon. Three mystery Pokemon. I haven't been to this side of the map like at all, so. Four mystery Pokemon. That one's pretty, pretty close by. I might be able to get to that one. Not, not close by to where I am. That, uh, that was poor phrasing. But, uh, close by to a place that I've been, and it's like this is early game area in this open world. Hate. Hate that every game wants to be open world, and none of them want to put the effort into it. Um, yeah, let's go here. What's even in my party right now? I should probably heal. But yeah, I um, I figured like I woke up pretty early. I don't have to work for another three hours, and uh, I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll stream a bit of Pokemon and. I'll do some gym battles on stream because my Pokemon are like well above my current level cap. Which is... That's interesting to me because that never happens in Pokemon games. They really lowered the uh, level caps from the gym badges, which I think is fantastic. Because it's never been something I had to worry about. I'd always have my Pokemon leveled up higher than the gym leaders I was facing. But, uh, what? I didn't... I didn't touch. It's way over there. Why did I initiate a battle with it? Anyway, um, I'd always have my Pokemon leveled up and like almost as strong as the gym leaders, or or stronger, and the cap would still be like twenty levels away. And it's like, what? What? What am I going at with a uh, level fifty Pokemon fighting level thirties? Like, where's the fun in that? I'm I'm not paying this. I'm a little bit tired. It's uh it's pretty early. Incredibly early in fact. I don't have one of you. Get in my balls. I finally uh attended some classes at school. They were incredibly boring, but I got some ball swipe TMs out of it. Now I can finally catch Pokemon that are, you know, not in my Pokedex. I do have one of you. I must have got one in a raid battle or something, because I've never encountered one of these in the wild. I'm pretty sure they're all on the western side of the map, and I've been mostly on the eastern side. But I had a little Pokeball icon saying that I, I have one, so. Alright, dude. What you got? I don't know how I feel about opponent trainers not challenging you to battle. Because, on the one hand, it is one thing, one of the few things that the developers thought about, like, oh, would this work in an open world? And the answer is no, because <laughs> they don't want to impede you from ex exploration by having trainers everywhere. But 
again, that's one of the reasons why Pokemon doesn't work as an open world game is because I I don't I don't fight trainers in this game. Cause it's like, what was the point of that? That was so that was a waste of my time. I got like nothing out of it. They're not challenging. They haven't been challenging in friggin' years. So what was the point of that? Why why did I stop what I was doing in order to challenge that guy? But at the same time, like why why have a Pokemon game where you don't fight Pokemon trainers. I want to be the best Pokemon trainer in the game, right? That's why I'm collecting badges, but at the same time, you don't fight Pokemon trainers. It's like, what? And that's not, that's not even something I touched on in my uh, video critique. No. Man, the hitboxes on these Pokemon. They're appropriate. That's not that's not a, a critique, that's just a complaint. <laughs> uh, so tired of tripping up in Pokemon all the time. Uh speaking of, I don't think I have one of you, so I do. Again, I I do a lot of random Terra battles, so that's probably where, why I have one of those, and I have no recollection of having one of those. Hey guy, do you want to fight a paralyzed turtle? Today's your lucky day. <laughs> what are you looking at? <laughs> He's still like looking down at the ground. Use this false swipe just to, to tease him. Like, oh yeah, you ha you stand a chance, buddy. That's the other downside to um, not having trainers be mandatory is, ooh, Fampy. Um, I just ran past them all because I was like, ooh, I want to explore. But now I'm like, I haven't fought these trainers, but I want to because that's that's a big part of the game. Uh, what am I doing? I was thinking about trainers and I was like, I gotta beat this guy's Fampy. It was wild Fampy I was trying to catch. I'm really tired. <laughs> um... I've never even seen one of you in my game. I've seen it before. I have the Evolve form, but I don't have this. Um, what was I even saying? But yeah, now I'm like going back and I'm like, I want to beat all the trainers just because that's, that's a part of the game. And, you know, giving me the ability to go past them means that now I'm beyond their skill level. I'm like, I have level 30s and 40s, and I'm fighting dudes with Pokemon in their 10s. Like, it's dumb. They're supposed to be part of the, the skill curve, you know? But again, they... A skill curve doesn't belong in an open world, and that's why they took it out. But at the same time, they... They didn't, uh... You know, see how that's a bad thing. It's like two different games are mashed together in this game. And it, like, the open world aspect is pretty good. And the, the challenge curve, when you follow it appropriately, is pretty good. But that's the problem, is that they, they don't go together. In the open world, you can kind of just go wherever you want in the challenge curve. And it's like, do you belong here? No. You never belong here. You're always either too strong or too weak. Luckily, I had prior knowledge of this going into this game. So I've been largely able to follow the, the curve as you're supposed to. That they don't tell you. Instead, they tell you quite the opposite. Go wherever you want. As long as you're not willing to enjoy playing the game, you can go wherever you want. Anyway. That's not what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I'm just supposed to be having a good old time drinking a lot of coffee.
I kind of regret not giving my Pokemon nicknames, but it's just one of those things that, like, yeah, I'd love to, but it's just so automatic to me to be like, no, I don't want to spend time doing that, because it doesn't matter. It has no effect in the game? Okay, cool. I'm not going to get overly attached to these ones and zeros. Hey, dude. I'm going to beat you up with um, something else. Ooh! My new goodest boy. I love this guy. I love him so much. I didn't see him until yesterday. Yesterday, last night, was my first time seeing this Pokemon. I think it's this game's pseudo-legendary. I'm not really sure. Arctibax. Uh, I want to show him off. He's so cool. Look at him. Look at him. He's a little stegosaurus. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh no, he's loafing around. <laughs> oh no, I need more gym badges. <laughs> oh no. I've also realized recently that uh, it's something I've wondered for a while, but I've never really had the experience to back up my uh, theory that I think friendship counterbalances the lack of gym badges. Because this guy's brand new. I caught him yesterday, right? And he's not listening to me um, because he's above level cap. But Skeledurge, my starter Pokemon, is even higher above the level cap and he does everything i tell him i'm like go kill that those children anakin and he's like it will be done he doesn't question the amount of badges i have uh i'm i'm going to get rid of that paralysis because that's annoying Again, I'm weirded out that there's no, um, there's no way to, like, plant berries in this game that I know of. You'd think that one of the classes at the school, they have so many different classes, you'd think one of them would be agriculture? And that would be where your berry garden is? Like, how am I supposed to acquire more berries? I need those for EB training. Um, it's, what, ice type? Uh, I should have used Jaw Lock. Oh well, it's not gonna run away. Right? Poor old Dredna. Just recovered from par paralysis and now he has dementia. Give me this. Weasel with an ice type. Terra might actually be useful. Who knows? I do have to fight a dragon type. Titan. Alright, Weasel. I know, everyone thinks you're hot shit. You're hot garbage. Oh, come on, Dreadnought. The enemy is the one that's attacking you. And it's like, oh, me? I'm attacking me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what you gonna do with all that HP? All that HP inside that bar? Like, back on the berries topic, I do find a lot of berries out in the world, but I, I want a reliable means by which to acquire them, you know? I think that's a pretty pretty reasonable thing to want. I, I don't want it to be easy or anything. I, I want to, you know, put in the, the typical amount of work to 
to get berries, but they just... I don't have that ability. Ooh, freaking Swablu. Yes, please. Hello, freaking Swablu. <clears throat> so many Pokemon have multi-hit moves in this game. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> My time. <laughs> Oh, I was like, why can't I move? <laughs> Pokedex. I'm like, I'm scared to be sprinting past these things because there could be shiny Pokemon anywhere. There's no little jingle or like animation or anything now. Like shiny Pokemon are just running around with all the rest. Like, if I'm sprinting past them, I can't exactly examine them to see if they're all different colors. I can barely tell what different Pokemon are when I'm sprinting past. I've seen Drifloon. I've never, like, oh no, I've never, um, tried to catch one. Oh... You wait right there. You you hang on. Hang on. Um Annihilate is like one of my favorite Pokemon already. It's incredible. I love it. Uh level twenty Murkrow. Yeah, sure. Good Drifloon. You waited, just like I said. Astonished because I don't want to kill it. Another minor complaint I have is um, the battle camera. Like it, it's really cool that you can move the camera around and stuff. It made a lot more sense in uh, Legends Arceus, where you know you could move your character around during battle. Like I don't have a reason to want to look around. It's not like I can you know, rearrange my positioning but either way i wish that this was default because you can click the stick to have like the classic you know your pokemon on the left enemy on the right kind of thing and i really wish that was the default because i hate getting into battle and like having to wait for like being able to put in the input and then having to click the stick every single time it's it's a minor thing it's just a, a gripe Yes, I am hypercritical of Pokemon. Incredibly hypercritical, because it's, like, it's my favorite thing. And they're they're not doing a good job anymore. Like, my roommate is not super into Pokemon. He likes Pokemon, he knows about it, he's played plenty of games. He's not an enormous fan like I am. Um, but he was watching me play it yesterday, and he was just like, Oh my god, this looks terrible. <laughs> and I was like, yep, it... it it kind of is, but it kind of isn't at the same time. And I, like, explained to him the... the couple of different things. Are you meant to be here? Or did I just catch you? Pick that, attack is down. No, you're not meant to be here. Sorry, this is my box of decent Pokemon. Oh, how you got in here. I wanna... I wanna use this guy! There's just never room in my party. Do I have one of these? I don't. I never bothered. I'm in a I'm in a catching mood today. Water gun. I mean it is a tadpole. 
So I shouldn't be surprised, but it's an electric type. <gasps> Ugh. Finally, a tadpole Pokemon. It's really hard to uh, stay focused in this game because it is like it is really fun running around in the open world and stuff. And uh, they did a good job to like disperse items and Pokemon all over the place. And like there's always somewhere catching my eye, and that makes it really hard to stay focused and like go where I'm trying to go. Please pick it up. Which is like a that's that's a wonderful thing. It's amazing. I I find myself playing this for like an hour, and I'm just like, oh, I didn't do that one thing that I was trying to do. I was too busy having fun. How dare I? <laughs> I missed. Hello. I like your hair. Nice buns. Is that? Melissa McCarthy? <laughs> Everyone in this game is a student. Ah, where are the trainer classes? There's a huge variety of different kinds of students, but they're all students. Like what? And they all only have one Pokemon. I don't I don't think I've found a single trainer out in the wild that has more than one Pokemon. What is that? I can't see it. It's a Nimble! I love Nimble. He's such a tiny little good boy. Oh no! Oh no! I gotta get out of here! <laughs> I have already forgotten what I was doing and where I was going. Do I have Gaffley to do? No, I was trying to avoid that. Oh, hello, go go. Ooh, I wanna, I wanna try something here. I have yet to experiment with. I've been doing a lot of experimenting. Well, I, I did originally do a lot of experimenting with uh, auto battle. Let's see how Redna does against that guy. Okay, so the, the level difference does make a difference because I should have like lost that terribly. Hello. <laughs> Just running past it, like, mashing the A button. Alright, so it, it does take the level into account. I didn't think it did. But I I kind of figured it would. But it's just not something I tested at all. Because I've always been, like, over-leveled whenever I... Oh, well, that's what happens when you hit the jump button and nothing happens, you know? You just don't jump and then you're drowning. All right, let's uh, let's try that again, Gryden. Except this time with doing the thing that I'm telling you to do. All right, let's let's try that. Jump! Why did he take so long? Ah, <sighs> like this is clearly a place that I can cross, right? Like. I have a higher elevation if I make that jump. No. It's, it's wider there. Oh, I hate this shit. But I haven't, I haven't gotten the uh, ability to swim yet. Yeah, that's my destination. Flip and heck, mom. Maybe right here? I believe this. Oh, shit. Yeah, I can't get up there. 
Like, I should be able to cross there. It's really shallow. Right? There are... Ah, oh, God. Freaking damn it, man. <laughs> Sprinting because I want to go fast so it doesn't take as long. But then I see an item. And it's like... The turning animation is enormous. And then I hit a wild Pokemon. And it's like... Maximum time wasted. I only have like two hours, man. I don't want to spend five freaking minutes trying to pick up an item that doesn't matter because the animation takes an eternity. I don't want you. The main city there. Oh, that's where the Pokemon League is. Like up on top of that mountain. Neat. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go the long way. Like Pokemon quiz time. Two feet four inches tall and weighs forty five point two pounds. My dick. Oh no, he's a Gen 1-er. Gibble's not in Gen 1. Typical Gen 1-er, doesn't even know anything. Not trying to be rude or mean or anything, but if you think Generation 1 is the best generation, you're an idiot. <laughs> it's one of the things that drives me absolutely wild when, you know, there's an ice cream Pokemon, an uh, ice cream cone, and I love him, he's a little soft serve, and then he turns into, uh, like an ice cream cone, and then he turns into a, a sundae, and it's like, that's so cute and clever, and like, he, it's a really... Neatly designed Pokemon. It's really cool. It's not a very good Pokemon, but I like it. And everyone was like, oh, it's ice cream. They're running out of ideas. Generation 1 has Voltorb. It's a fucking ball. It's a ball with eyes. They never had ideas. <laughs> what are we going to do for Diglett when it evolves? Oh, uh, just make it three Diglets. Oh, creative. What about coughing? Oh, I'll just make it two coughings. Oh, what about Dugtrio? I'll just give it another head. Oh, what about Magnemite? I'll just make it three Magnemites. Oh, so creative. I can see now why you're being so hypercritical of recent generations with their good Pokemon designs. Clearly, Generation 1 was the peak of creativity. <laughs> and they're also bland looking, like... Like, every Pokemon in Generation 1 is boring and dull. And like, not colorful or interesting or, or creative or unique. They're all just bland, dumb. Like, Ghastly's a fucking ball. It's another ball. <laughs> anyway, tangent complete. <laughs> I think I've changed the entire world's mind on Generation 1. Don't get me wrong, it's good. It, it Like, a lot of the Pokemon are good. It's just the worst generation. <laughs> if you compare it to any other generation, it's terrible. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, but... No, I'm not. I'm being 100% sincere. Let me put it this way. When Generation 1 first came out, it was the only generation, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. There's so many Pokemon. It's so cool. It's really glitchy and dumb and weird. And like a lot of things that are supposed to work don't work. But, oh man, is it ever fun? I love collecting these Pokemon. And then Gold and Silver came out and I was like, Oh! There's more! And they're all way cooler!
Okay, where am I? Where am I going? Okay. So that is no longer my destination. Oh, it's Swablu. Right, I never encountered a Swablu before. Until I was on my way here. Alright, I'm, I'm not really interested in that anymore. I already have a really good, shiny Altaria. Sitting in Pokemon Home. It was actually one of the few times that I actually used a Master Ball, because it was a raid battle. And uh, it was just a random raid that popped up in my feed, and I was like, oh, I'll join that, I, I could catch an Altaria right now. And it was a shiny. And with raid battles, you only get one attempt, so I was like, oh man, it's... It's like a five-star shiny Altaria, like, I can't risk not getting it, because Altaria is pretty good. Um... Open Sky Pokemon. You know what, I'm in the neighborhood, should I? What time is it? Yeah, I've got time. As long as I don't read any of the dialogue. <laughs> you know, the the dialogue. Oh, we're... It's a giant Pokemon. Yeah, maybe it has something to do with the Herba Mystica. Does it have anything to do with the Herba Mystica? Oh my god. Oh, hey, it's Arvin! Did you know you're getting close to the Pokemon that I told you to go towards? Yes, you mean the one that's marked on my map that I, I used my map in order to figure out where it is so I could go to it? Yes, I'm aware that I'm going in the direction that you told me to go in that I decided to go in. I'm aware of that. <laughs> Let me fucking fight the goddamn Pokemon. Jesus. We don't want to put trainers in, in the game in order to you know, have the things for the player to do. Because you don't want to stop them in their progress. But also, let's have 4 billion people call the player constantly. Just be like, hey, are you going in the direction that you're going? You, yeah, you are? Oh, cool. <gasps> Double standard. Right, it's this thing. Surprisingly, is a dark type. Dork. <laughs> okay. Here, have some of this. Oh, it didn't want it. <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't want it. Yeah, that. Wow, look at that animation. Whoa! Who would have thought I'd battle it, whittle it down to low HP, it would break down a rock, eat an herb, he would come running in. Say, oh, everything that's happening right now for the second time is exactly the same. It's a surprise again. Now me and him are going to battle it. We're going to defeat it. We're going to go inside the cave where it got that herb. He's going to be surprised to find the herb that we all knew was here. He's going to make a sandwich out of it. Coriden's going to eat the sandwich. Everyone's going to be super surprised that all of this is happening again. And then Coriden's going to get a new ability. At least the new Pokemon are good. <laughs> Pokemon's never been about the story or the dialogue or the characters. Like the characters' designs in this game. Oh my god, the, so many of the trainers and the teachers are like, whoa. They're really good. Whoever the artists are in this game need a pay raise, and that raise needs to come from the salary of. The people who designed the open world aspect. Alright, uh, turbo button, engage. Now I can play one handed. Just hold the A button. So my other hand is free to do other things. How am I drinking coffee? Get your mind out of the gutter. Whoa, who would have thought? The herb that you said was here, is here. What a surprise! The herb that you said was here, that we just saw was here, is here. Whoa! Imagine that. It's like putting on the GPS, being like, yeah, I want to go to, uh, Walmart. 
And it's like, okay, Walmart is here. And then you get to Walmart and you're like, whoa, there's a Walmart here? That's what this is. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a Walmart here? And the whole reason you do that is so that you can, like, buy diapers, and then you get inside the Walmart, and you're like, Whoa, there's diapers here? Oh man, who would have thought there's diapers here? What are the chances? It's like, I came here for diapers! <laughs> you knew! You knew the whole time there's diapers at Walmart. You looked it up on the map. You set the destination with the intention of getting diapers at Walmart. Why are you surprised that you arrived at Walmart and that there's diapers here? Wow, Irvin, your floppy hair is hilarious and stupid. Is this when he gets to when he suddenly reveals that he's not just an asshole all the time? Yeah, it is. Okay. See, for some reason, he's been keeping it a secret that he has a hurt doggo. And that's why he's such an asshole all the time. And it's like, you could have just led with that. You could have been like, hey, instead of just being secretive for absolutely, literally no reason whatsoever, I have a sick doggo and it's stressing me out, man, because he's a good friend of mine. And he's sick, and I'm trying to make him better using these herbs. It's like, why... Why'd you pretend to be all mysterious and aloof? Like, don't... Like... You're just keeping a secret for the sake of keeping a secret so you can have a reveal. And it's unfortunate, because the first time I saw this, that was my exact reaction. I was like, oh, that's... That would be a, a, you know, I'd, I'd have a bit of sympathy for this guy if it wasn't for the fact that he kept it a secret for no reason. No reason! It's not like the, the dog is allergic to people knowing that it's sick. <laughs> that would be a shitty allergy. What are you allergic to? Oh, I can't tell you. I'm allergic to people knowing I'm allergic to people knowing that I'm allergic to people knowing that I'm allergic <laughs> <At Q. laughs> Oh, hey, Professor. Thanks for telling me for the third time that, um, Coriden can do the thing now. Alright. <sighs> that was, uh... Something crossed off the checklist. Blue. No shiny Psyducks. The streamer I was watching randomly ran into a shiny Psyduck. And he's like, huh. Give me this. Air cutter. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's get back to business. Um, is there a... Fuck. I hate my... Uh, I hate my... What the fuck was I gonna say? I hate how I'm just like always... Like, oh well, as long as I'm here... I might as well go do this. It's like I never get anything done. <laughs> Heading towards... No, don't land on the Mankeys! <laughs> It'd be fine. It would just waste my time. I'm not fond of things wasting my time. Speaking of a waste of time, how about that Pichu? As much as I love Generation 2, it is also the generation that introduced baby Pokemon. Which, you know, was largely just because, hey, look, you can breed Pokemon now. And sometimes you get a baby Pokemon. Don't think I didn't see the world just disappear game. 
It was only for like a frame or two, but I saw that. It all turned blue. Um, but yeah, baby Pokemon were just like the dumbest thing. Because I largely, like, I, I only like a Pokemon as much as it's useful. Like, the ice cream Pokemon. I like because it's a cool design. But I would never use it because it's not useful. I'm not going to be like, oh, I like it, so I'm going to use it. It has to be useful. Baby Pokemon? They just exist, like, as a thing to get. Right there, you cannot use a baby Pokemon and expect it to succeed. They all are terrible. So I don't know why they ever bothered making them or like making more of them. Like Generation Four has a bunch of baby Pokemon too. It's like, come fuck on, man. What what Pokemon is gonna one hit kill their entire thing? Are you? Up? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Are you, are you ground type? No, normal. That's dumb. I mean, it, yes, it is a ground type. I mean, it doesn't have a ground type Terra. <gasps> I mean, I could just... I could just use Skeledurge. Who is... I love Skeledurge. I didn't think I would, because I saw the design, and I was like, that looks really dumb. I don't think that anymore. I think it's pretty freaking cool. Um, it's an electric type gym. But also, I don't need to try, because I'm well above the level that I should be. Uh, you're not ground type yet, right? No, you evolved into a ground type. The Annihilate has a ground type move. Claude Sire is a ground type. Okay, here we go. Uh, Mudsdale is a ground type. Let's get. Tankaton out. Uh, Sawsbug. My Sawsbug changed form. And I don't know why, and I don't know how to change back. It changed into the winter one, which is, like, hideous. Alright. That, that's more than enough. One of these Pokemon can sweep the whole gym. Because this is the third gym leader. You can do them in whatever order you want. But if you don't do this one third, you're going to completely fuck yourself over. This is the third gym leader. <laughs> Alright, I have to do a stupid test or something. like. I, I do like and appreciate that they're trying to do something different to like keep it interesting. But at the same time, my god, come up with something better than the things that you make me do in this game. Sazbuck, change form. <sighs> yeah, heaven forbid I go into a freaking Pokemon gym without my stalker being like, Oh, hey! Okay, Bulbapedia does not have any information on Sazbuck's forms. Yeah, I had the Summer form, which is the one with the green leaves. And I... That's my favorite one. That one in Autumn. Autumn is pretty good. <sighs> no, I'm not ready. I have a team to take on the gym, not to take on you. You selfish bitch. What are you doing hanging out with a friggin' 12-year-old anyway? Aren't you a champion? Aren't you a senior... ...student? Why are you wasting your time with me? Go hang out with people your own age or skill level. You freaking loser. I must admit, though, it's, it's interesting to have your rival be... Not someone who's also just starting out like you are. You know? like she's a champion. Again, I have no idea why she's wasting her time. Like, it, It's not like she's, you know, just like, Oh, hey, let's, I'll have a battle with you. 
No, like, she dropped her entire life to start a new journey and get a new team of Pokemon to raise. Because she met me. <laughs> and it's like, what? What is... Why? Why would you do this? Uh, Florigato. Nope. Uh, Google, you are failing me. Form changes. I'm not paying attention to this battle at all. I'm googling how to change Sawsbuck's form. Oops, I didn't mean to close the tab. I thought I opened a new tab. I just gotta go back. Could feature dealing. Yeah, the game's still too new. Damn it. Cause like I I got I got the summer form because I was like, ooh, I like the green one. I saw all the different forms out in the wild, and I saw the green one, and I was like, you! I choose you. And then, I send it out into battle one time, and it was the winter form. And I'm like, no! It's the one with the stupid, empty branches. It looks so bad. It's like, the- it doesn't affect the stats or anything, so I don't actually care. I just don't know why it happened. They've never been able to change forms before. You catch them based on what season it is in your game. And this game doesn't have seasons, so it changes based on, like, the weather or location or something. Because I'm pretty sure I was in a mountain, and it was snowing at the time. Alright, this, this dumbass is a streamer. What kind of loser streams? I, I got worried for a second because she asked me something and my turbo button was just like, first answer, whatever. It's like, oh no. Did I get it wrong? She looks like a VTuber. What kind of loser streams with a VTuber thing? <laughs> oh right, she plays hide and seek, where's Waldo? Oh god, what does this have to do with Pokemon battling? Oh, what does it have to do with Pokemon battling? And why did the director... <laughs> does the director do anything? He's just constantly... out here, just like... doing random crap. Just like, stalking me around. I, I don't need to find him, he's right there. I can see him, currently. He's right here. Thanks for putting a picture of him up in case I forgot what he looked like in the last three seconds since I saw him last. This is a kid's game. <laughs> uh, 
I need to remember. This is a kid's game. Yeah, this is the reason why I come to a gym. To fight people. Beat up their animals. Nice polygonal ears, Luxio. Let me... Oh, I can't change the... Uh... Oh, there we go. They got kind of rounded. This game looks like a GameCube game. And I was going to say, Pokemon's never been about the graphics, but it, it back in the Pixel days, there were some pretty good Pixel graphics. Again, except Generation 1, because Generation 1 was terrible. And they got a lot of the sprites wrong, just like, they just do not look like their artwork. Yeah, he's in the Pokemon Center, he's standing where the nurse is supposed to be. Notice how I didn't say Nurse Joy, because that's an anime thing. And the anime has nothing to do with Pokemon. <laughs> Whoa! Opinionated, aren't I? I can't lose, he says. Pretty sure you can. <gasps> Tynamo! Oh, they brought back... Tynamo! <laughs> I can't remember its fully evolved form's name. E-Electric, I think? Um, it has to levitate, though, so I can't use Mud Shot. I guess I'm going to have to use Poison Jab, which will still want to kill it. Good boy, Cloudsire, who's a derpy little killer? I love his big dumb smile. <laughs> Again, I don't understand why they made it a new Pokemon instead of just a Paldean Quagsire. I think that whoever worked on this generation, like, didn't get the memo that regional forms were already a thing. This is really hard. I need to go grab something. I will be right back. Okay. <sighs> Got a thumbs up. Supercharged streamer. All right.
<laughs> wow. Wow. Look at the crowd. The crowd were moving at like 10 frames per second. Look at them. God, it's horrendous. This is a, a air quotes finished game that they're charging like a hundred dollars for. They worked on this game for years. Like that, it, it. the amount of graphical glitches are just like what the fuck. Do my best. No, I'm gonna kick your ass. best I'm barely gonna try and I'm gonna destroy you don't you really should not zoom in on that stuff like okay, she led with a flying type <laughs> which means I can't use my ground type move kill it um, see, I would love to use Toxic Spikes, but, like, there's no point. I'm just gonna one-hit kill everything, so... <laughs> and it's poisoned anyway. Well... <clears throat> oh, she's already using Belly Bolt. That's like her signature Pokemon. <laughs> Poor old Clodsire is just like, I'm the slowest Pokemon. What? I'm dead. I'm just kind of dumbfounded that I didn't want to kill it. Oh, Mudshot is a special move. He's a physical attacker. Yeah, learn Earthquake, would you? <laughs> or like, at least Bulldoze. The early game Earthquake. Oh no. I think I will switch Pokemon. Um, Mudsdale. I just had the thought of, like, maybe I should terrestrialize in order to deal more damage, but it just takes so long. <laughs> Miss Magus? <gasps> what? Um, Miss Magus probably has Levitate. Uh. Ooh, it's probably really light, too. <laughs> like, I don't... I don't know, man. Like, I... I originally thought that it was pretty cool that the gym leaders use Pokemon that aren't of the type that they specialize in, and then terrestrialize into that type. But then I fought the grass gym leader, and he sent out a rock type. And, um... I forget what I was using to beat his grass types. I did, flying! I was using a flying type to, to wipe out the grass types. And he sent out a rock type, and I'm like, oh no! It's a rock type. They're resistant to flying and super effective against them. And I was 
first turn, he terrestrializes into a grass type. And it's like, you very intentionally just got rid of your huge advantage that you had, and made it so that you have a disadvantage. Why would you do that? And I was like, maybe they... They should have... Gave the gym leaders... The, the like, monotype. And then with their ace Pokemon, change it into a different type. So then it's still a grass type that they're using, but change it into like a rock type so that you you have to actually be like, oh no, what do I do now? You know, but they just, it's the opposite of that. It's like he sent out a Pokemon that was actually a good part of his team and then changed it into a bad part of his team. Like what she just did. She sent out Miss Mages and changed it into an electric type. So that it's equally as weak to what I'm already using. Rather than, like, you know, changing it around. I like taking screenshots of pictures. Something to look back on and be like, I remember how easy that was. Volt Switch. Is Volt Switch. Oh god, don't zoom in that much. I can see the pixels. Oh, uh, why did it zoom in on her non existent chest? Oh no. Why does nobody have anything better to do than stalk this 12 year old? You're the chairman of the Pokemon League. That's like if Bill Gates just like popped by to a guy who just started this job like two days ago and they're like, hey. Hey, I heard that you uh, started your job two days ago. Just wanted to pop in and check on the local talent. It's like, you're a billionaire! Um. But again, that's not like a serious critique. Like, I, I know, they, they just want to be like, hey, look at this. It's, it's the chairman of the Pokemon League. But probably setting her up for something later. Maybe not. Maybe they just really wanted to have her in the freaking game. I don't know. Volt Switch is special. Alright, cool. Um, I can teach that to my Magnezone. I evolved my Magneton too quickly, and all it has is Thundershock. And, uh... Yeah, let's get Mudsdale out of there. Next, I'm gonna fight the Water Gym Leader. Because they're the next trainer to fight. I don't know what else to say, man. Oh, I didn't pay attention to, um... To what my new level cap is. I think it's 40. This is also, like, the first game where they don't tell you that. Like, on a screen anywhere. Normally, if you go into your player card, it'll say, Pokemon up to level 40. Where am I making that up? It might be a fabrication. Alright, anyway. This is the next gym leader. I think. It's either... Oh, shit. It's either uh, the water guy or the normal guy. I fought the two of those. Or... I, I haven't fought the two of those. Yet. But I'm pretty sure they're like pretty close in level. And then after that is this bitch. And she's got level 40 something Pokemon. So once I get to her, the, the level curve of the game has finally caught up to me. I think it's this guy.
I have to get there first. Here's another complaint for you. Because <laughs> I haven't had enough yet. Um, when you fly to a Pokemon Center, why does it not automatically heal your Pokemon? Because, like, you're going to a Pokemon Center, right? It's right there. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Why do I then have to take more of my time to talk to the nurse and heal my Pokemon? It's like, it should just be automatic, right? It's like I'm at a Pokemon Center. It's not like I have to pay for it. So you need to do like a, a check. Like, oh, make sure you have enough money. Or like, are you sure you want to spend money to heal your Pokemon? No, it's just... Anyway. Um, bag. Every single time I go into my TM menu, I look at Thunderfang and it's like... Skeletor can learn Thund Thunderfang. Oh yeah. Wait, he's a he's a special attacker. He's a crocodile with a huge jaw. So he really should be physically very powerful, but he's not. Ooh. Yeah, just need water pulse to uh Quadsar. Yeah, you know what? Toxic Spikes is a great move. But not right now. I'll probably teach it to him again later. Acid spray is not the uh, the move I thought it was. Ooh, I think he has ice bang. Yeah, he does. Sixty-five, sixty. Yeah, okay. Bolt switch. Get rid of thunder shock. Ooh, rain dance. I should teach someone rain dance. No, sunny day. Because I'm gonna be up against a water type. Gimelier. Spikes and toxic spikes. That's oof. That is oof. As the kids say. Um. Yeah, I really want to learn a different ground type move, but uh, let's see if he maybe can remember one. No. No. Okay. I want you to learn Swords Dance, because that's what the last sauce book I used had, and he was a beast! I'm gonna pop a save real quick, because, uh, never know what could happen. I have had the game crash a couple of times. It's completely unprompted. I was, like, in my boxes doing some organizing and it crashed and I, I just about cried I spent like 10 minutes reorganizing like a bunch of Pokemon oh no I got near a base oh no I hate this guy I hate him if you're gonna wear a disguise wear a better disguise you are just 
the director. And I don't care. You're trying to stop Team Star. Okay, cool. Why are you wearing a disguise? Why are you lying to your 12-year-old student? Why don't you have anything better to do with your life? Shouldn't you have a lot of responsibilities as the director of a school? Oh, I don't care. I don't care. I also hate that in every game, when they give you a, air quotes, choice, and it's like, who are you talking to? Nobody? Or, it's only me. That's not a choice, it's the same thing, rephrased. Why are you giving me a choice of how to say the exact same thing? Just continue the dialogue. Just continue it. <laughs> it's okay. Let's see if I can... What? Yo! Nope, almost. <laughs> almost, but not quite. Um, it's fine. Desert's cool. Sazbuck, stop being winter form. You look terrible. You look like you're dying. Oh my god, stop calling me. This is just like real life. Every time someone calls me, I get stressed out and, and annoyed. <gasps> three star? I have access to three star now? I actually don't think I have a pseudo so... Let's grab this real quick. See what level three stars are. <laughs> he's just, he's not moving. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. It must be a pretty high level. Cool. I've, uh... So far, my experiences with the Terra raid battles has just been... Okay, go! And then they immediately get one shot. <laughs> so it's like having to actually take a couple of turns. It's uh, pretty cool. Ooh! Yeah! And this is why Sazbuck is a boss. It's incredibly powerful. And it heals itself whenever it attacks with Horn Leech. Look at that. I should have died ages ago. Is it dead? It looks like it still has a sliver left. No, it's dead. Alright, that was pretty cool. I do really enjoy the uh, terror raid battles. They're a lot quicker and more fluid than uh, the Dynamax battles. And I, I loved Dynamax battles. Just being able to call up with people take on a really challenging Pokemon is really fun. Bonsley Tears. <laughs> Ooh, I got medium experience candies. Ooh, so many candies. Wow.
I love the candy system. I love it. One of the best things about uh, the Let's Go games is uh, instead of getting EVs from battling wild Pokemon, you get candy. And then you can use the candy on whatever Pokemon you want. It makes it so much better than EV training. Attack down, defense up. Well, you're garbage, aren't you? <laughs> I love that he's just completely still. I'm saying, I am a tree. Please believe me. Why are you everywhere? Why are you in a desert? You're a little bird. A little ostrich. It's a baby ostrich, so... Um... Well... Ah! No, I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. That's why I'm just like... Moving randomly and like... Making grunts. There we go. Yeah, turn back on. Um... Something that won't kill it. You probably won't kill it. Hello? Okay. It didn't lock onto it until he turned around. The Don't Skip Leg Day Pokemon. Of course. Of course. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is this is my typical look. Like everything that can go wrong does go wrong. I am the perfect example of God, what's it called? What's that rule called? I can't remember. Oh well. Oh well. Alright, I'm gonna have to try to whittle it down a little bit. Which I was hoping to avoid because... I don't want to knock it out. Whatever, there's, there's more stone joiners, yeah. It's just where it's a rock type, it's, it's resistant to false swipe, so I don't want to use false swipe. But also, might have to just suck it up and use false swipe. Um, hit the X button like seven times before menu popped up. Hello? You weren't there a second ago. Arvesta! Invest in Larvesta! Clicking the stick! Okay. There's nothing in the way, so I don't know why the camera won't just go here. <laughs> but, okay. Oh, shit! Alright, get in the ball. Ah, I see you've chosen death. Death over captivity. Alright, Ultra Ball. I really want you to not die and also be my slave. Oh. You win. God, the frame rate is tanking. The sandstorm effect is like really 
really messing with the game. Oh, oh, whoop. Well, <laughs> random ostrich, okay. Why aren't you changing back? Oh my god. I just want my, my summer form Sawsbuck back. I don't know why it changed. Wigglytuff. Um. Oh, Quattire. Like, I switch around my Pokemon so casually and frequently that I just... I never remember what I have. So whenever I'm in a battle, I'm just like, uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> you! Musician? I think you mean cow person. You. Huh? Alright, just need to be patient. Oh my god, just need to be patient. Oh no, I can't escape. Um, what if I was patient, but better? There we go. <laughs> I feel like I cheated. Get in the ball. Oh, I don't think you heard me. I said, get in the ball. Oh, no, wait. I just didn't specify. Stay in the ball. Get in the ball and stay in the ball. Don't come out. There is another Larvesta behind me. Okay. Dare I try to inflict a status on it? No. That takes so much time. I just switch Pokemon and then I have to go through like eight turns of getting flinched and failing and missing. There we go. I just gotta stop being so cheap. I never want to use my Ultra Balls because they're expensive. I don't want to check the summary. I'm never going to use it. It's one of those Pokemon that I just don't care about. Like it's, it's probably a good Pokemon. I don't know. I've never looked into it. And it's not like I dislike it or anything. It's just... I, I just don't care. There's so many Pokemon that are good that I like. You know? Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. My physical attacker got a burn. Oh, no. Uh, tur <laughs> Turbo button. Deactivate. I'm gonna spam false swipe, but I, I keep forgetting where Vesta will get hurt by the uh, sandstorm. So let's try catching it. All aboard the success train. Choo choo! Oh, hello, world. The larva that stole the sun. Are you any good? Modest would be great. Bet. Best? Hmm. Neutral. Which, again, it's not bad, but it's not good either. Because it's not, you know, increasing its strength. It's just not decreasing its strength. Fire Fang. Which, again, you, you'd think that that would be great on Skeledurge, because it's a freaking crocodile. But, uh, for whatever reason, they made it a special attacker. Oops. Ripped in a Pokemon. Uh, no. Just, just no. 
That was a good reminder, though. I need to get rid of your burn. I definitely... Um, burn. 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 Here we go. Let's check on the EV situation. You're done, so you still have the uh, hour lens. Yeah, you do. You don't need that anymore. You don't need that anymore. So you, I might give HP. You, I'll give speed. You also need speed, so wait your turn. You need it to hack. You're all done. Ah, oh, it's such a mess. This is why I really want to be able to have, um... Friggin... Berries. So you... Give that to you. Uh, you... Just... I, I can't remove it. Okay. Mm. What away hell do I need? There we go. Um Power weight is is speed, okay. So speed to you. And then Saw's butt gets it after that. No! Hmm. Oh, the ruffle it. I was like, what the heck is that? Snow runt? In the desert? I mean, it is shivering all the time, so maybe it, maybe it naturally wants to be in the desert. Who knows? I'd really like to get a, uh, sand dial while I'm here. Because Crook Dial is fantastic. Fantastic Pokemon. One of those Pokemon that just checks all the boxes for me. It's a good type. It's got good stats. It's got a good move pool. It's a cool design. Nice bowl cut. Enjoy your death. <laughs> it's just hmm. He applauds. Good job killing my pet. I don't, I don't even remember what you're called. Silly Cobra. Wait, do I have one? Where'd you go? I don't have a Cacnea. I do have a Cacnea. Again, must have gotten one in Terror Raid Battles. Yep, same with you. Because I've never encountered you in the world. Because I've never been to the desert. Uh, I can't see anything. The camera... I don't know how, but the camera just doesn't keep up with the game a lot of the time. It's like, shouldn't it? <laughs> this is the only game that this camera is in. Not like they had to, to make a camera app for, you know, multiple games or anything. It's just one game, one camera. They're mismatched.
Bang. Bang, bang, have my fangs. Is it bang, bang, have my fang? On the earth. Uh, the, hmm. I was gonna mispress, but whatever. Twenty years for this, right? I know that feel, bro. That's how I feel about this game. This is not the snow rod, is it? Nope, the ground type shuppet. Weird. Do not want. Is that a sandaconda or a silly cobra? No, it's just a little cobra. Which is probably pronounced Scylla Cobra? Like silicone? Question mark? But I prefer to call it silly. Because it's a silly little guy. This is not where I belong. Bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. See, again, the camera's not keeping up with me. Like, I'm over there. <laughs> Like, what are you doing? Why can't the camera keep up with the the game that you designed? You decided to make the mount Pokemon able to sprint. Why did you not make the camera able to keep up with that? Like, did they playtest this game at all? There's so many glitches and stuff. Like, I mean, why am I over there? God, I can't see where I'm going. Just ran into some people because I can't see where I'm going. Parrotskuta, which I don't think I have. No, wait, that's that's the unevolved form of Parrotskuta, which I don't I don't remember the name. It's Arrow something. Arrow. 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 Hello? I'm looking at a Pokemon here. Can you... No? <laughs> right, I'm in a town, so they're not real Pokemon. They're fake. Alright, anyway. Where am I? Oh, I am in the town. I thought I was over here. There's a town on the edge of the desert. Not to be confused with the town on the edge of the desert. Hello, Power of Orange. How you doing? Uh, so he is down... Right, you gotta ride the elevator. You are good! Good to hear. I want one. Squirtle or Totodile? I don't believe so. I'm pretty sure the only starters in this game, uh, aside from the starters that you pick at the beginning, are um, uh, the starters that you get in Pokemon Legends Arceus and Charmander. Don't have a good water type. Can I recommend Dreadnought? He's what I'm currently using. Good solid physical attacker, water and rock type. Able to learn false swipe, which is the whole reason why I got him. Dredna, the uh, turtle introduced last generation. 
I'll show you as soon as I'm done pressing the B button. <laughs> Consent is a real thing, lady. Can you bring this to him? No, I can't. Too bad. Here you go. Good enough. It falls from Choodle. Alright, where am I going now? The other town. On the other side of the desert. Okay. Do my best to just beeline it because I'm running out of time here. Got I got about an hour before I gotta leave for work. Which is plenty of time, but not if I keep getting distracted. Don Pan. I don't have a Don Pan. Whatever. I can get one later. Is Aeron in the game? I don't know. I don't think so. If it is, I haven't encountered it at all yet. Which is unfortunate because I love Agron. One of your favorite steel types? Me too. Ever since uh, Generation 3, my original Ruby playthrough, I uh, I caught an Aeron and it stuck with me the whole time. And uh, it's a good way to, to get a good um, bias for a Pokemon is to just use it on your first playthrough the whole time. <laughs> Part of the reason why I like Blaziken is my favorite Pokemon because I it was my starter in Ruby and I used it all the way through that, and then I used it in Pokemon Coliseum, and it was the first Pokemon I ever got to level 100. Elekid? Uh... Again, I, I don't know for sure. I haven't seen one, which is not looking good for it. I've, I've seen most of this game. Hang on. What's going on behind me? Cats are into something. But, uh... I haven't seen it, which means it's unlikely that it's in this game, but it could be. I don't know, for sure. By George, I think I managed to beeline it. What is, what is happening? What's going on behind me? What are you doing? Yeah, just getting into stuff. Duh. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, dude. That alert always catches me off guard. I hope you're not uh, bothered by the fact that I'm skipping all the dialogue, but uh, this is a Pokemon game and the dialogue does not matter. <laughs> Ah, poo, I still have a, a water type in the lead. Oh well, whatever. Ooh, Fossil. What are you eating? Why are you eating something? That's what that cat is doing. Mystery solved. My cat found a twist tie somewhere, and she was chasing it around like it was a, a mouse or something. And then she was trying to eat it. It's like, mm, maybe don't eat the wire wrapped in plastic, please.
Magnezone. Magnezone's a Pokemon I always feel really guilty about using because I'm like I use it every single time it's available. So I I should really like you know focus on trying out a new Pokemon. But nope. <laughs> I love Magnezone. It rocks. Shooks. Uh, shooks. Uh, shuckles. I have your wallet. It looks like a Venonat. I kind of want it in real life. Thanks for the money. <laughs> he gave me fifty thousand. I spent forty. Cha ching. Not giving him back his change. All right. Gym test succeed. I love the artwork on the wall. Except this one. The ugliest Pokemon of all time. Ooh. Ooh. I'm just realizing something. They have artwork of uh, Skrelp and Dragaug, I think? Is that his name? But that guy is a really good Pokemon. But I haven't seen it in the game, so does this mean it's in the game? Probably. Because all the other ones are. Although, Braxian, I'm not sure if that's in the game. Hmm. Oh, there's more. These are all in the game. I've seen them all. Does it mean Skrelp is in the game? Calciums? Great Balls? What? Oh, this is neat. I think this is still a deal? I don't... I don't know. I don't know offhand how much these Pokeballs cost. Yay, I probably got a deal. <laughs> cool, I didn't know that there was actual auctions. What do you have? Oh, you sell sandwiches. No, thank you. Nope. Every which way. <laughs> that's, that's a great name. I love it. Okay, cool. So that gym test wasn't just a gym test. It also was like, hey, you can actually do auctions for items. I wonder how often it changes. All right, quickly heal up my mons. Mm. 
and swap out Dreadna for you. You're going to be my first. Hold up. Still have Claude's are in my party. Poison ground type. He's the goodest boy, but uh, I think I'll swap him out for this incredibly underleveled <laughs> um, electric type. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, can't. Pokemon inventory management. What do you mean, Barunk? Ah, it's Mudsdale. Ah, there's a bunch of Pokemon, okay. Oh, Jesus. Alright, game. Time to, to give me more boxes now. I got them all almost full. Wonder if it will do that. Box nine, yep. Seven are all my garbage Pokemon that I have for trading. And there we go. Save real quick. I gotta run to the washroom real quick and get some more coffee. Those things couldn't possibly be related. It's not like I need to pee because I'm drinking excessive quantities of coffee. Uh, but I'll only be like a minute or two, so be right back. Okay. 
that be right back screen though. Uh Alright, let's go beat this water type gym leader. Did I oops, alright. <laughs> I love that it made the sound effect for the menu, but it didn't actually bring up the menu. Okay, yeah, I put Magnazone in lead. Oh no, it's two members of the Elite Four. By the time you get all the badges, you you meet three of the Elite Four. Like, back in my day, you didn't know who the Elite Four were until you fought them. I have no idea what types the Elite Four have. I, uh, I saw all the gyms being challenged, but I did not see the Elite Four, so. Yes, I brought him his wallet. Excellent gym test. Hello, random, very excited, middle-aged woman. And everyone's like, oh, hey, I want to buy some uh, food from you. And he's like, yeah, I'm a gym leader. I gotta admit, I like a lot of the gym leaders in this game. The, the trainer design is pretty good. And they all have, like other jobs that they work as well like this guy's a baker or a chef i don't know those are things you would discover if you actually read the dialogue which i don't a lot of the time Right, that thing. I don't actually know what type it is. I know it's a water type. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Well, oh. <laughs> now I'll never know. You get out there, I guess. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating. Wubby Trio. Gah. <laughs> it's hideous. <laughs> Again, I'm not entirely sure what type it is, but I know it's at least water type. Probably water and ground? Water and rock? Could just be pure water, I don't know. Avoided the attack. Okay. Hmm. Okay, it's not ground or rock type. Because it just got hurt by the sandstorm. Bolt switch is 100% accurate. I would use Mud Slap on me, that's why. I'm really not paying attention. But also, I'm really tired. <laughs> it's very early. Oh, Magnazone is not listening to me again. What's my level cap now? I thought my level cap was level 40.
Snag zone turned away. Okay. It must be 35. Wow, I am way above the level cap in that case. Because that would mean that it was 30 up until a couple of minutes ago when I got the last badge. Oh my god, come on, Magnezone. What about all the bats that I gave you? I gave you so many bats to make you like me. Oh my god. Alright. Magnezone, get out of there. You disobedient little shit. Stop using mud slap. Did the sandstorm go away or? Oh no, it's gooey. <laughs> Once again, he did have the advantage, but he terrestrialized to not have the advantage. Some really questionable AI. Pokemon up level 40, okay. Alright. Chilling water. Use your attack attack by showering it with water that's so cold it saps the target's power. It also lowers the target's attack stat. Hmm. I assume it's special from the sound of it? Every time I see her, I'm just like, oh god, it's you again. You're forgiven. Oh no, I don't get to waste my time fighting you again. Alright, so I've already been here, so I'll just fly here, fight the normal type gym leader, whoop his butt real good. Get to finally uh, see the new Dunsparce evolution. I think his other Pokemon is uh, a Greedent, if I recall. Let's see what I have 
you with his dumb normal type. You. You're perfect. Uh, ghost, ghost. You're you're just too low level, man. Uh, Saws buff is always good. I'll use Tinkaton. I, uh, I have a lot of Pokemon that have fallen behind in their level. Why are you here? Just been an accident. Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of true, though. Annihilate should be able to wipe the floor with the whole the whole gym right I remember this gym challenge now oh look who it is you were just at the other gym I saw you going into the gym and came running why get a wife No, I don't want to battle you. Why did you ask if I don't actually have a choice? Okay, she's permitting me to take on the gym first. Cool, thanks. See if I can remember it. Real rice balls, I'm pretty sure. Medium. Fire blast. With lemon. All those people are dead. There was a boatload of people just sitting there, and now they're all gone. What happened? <laughs> oh, I have to go back. I have to go back to the gym to be like, hey, can I challenge gym leader now? And they're like, yes. Now go back, back to the restaurant that you were just at, that you left, with the gym leader in it. Oh, hang on. Did it say the waiter? It said the waiter. Okay, maybe I'm an- I'm the idiot here. Yeah, I do. Okay. Cool. I am the idiot. Larry. Your whole personality trait is that you have no personality. You're just a boring, normal guy. 
Okay, I'm Larry. Good on spires. I don't remember if Staraptor is his ace or not. It might be. Oh, it is. I chose Morley. I wasn't sure if he had three or four Pokemon. Yeah, so he's gonna terrestrialize. Uh, I should still be fine. I'm gonna try slide just in case. Oh, you're going to end up losing this. You have one Pokemon, I have six. So mathematically speaking, you cannot win. <laughs> He's giving his Staraptor a hat. Well, you're not the only one who can put a hat on their Pokemon. Oh no. <laughs> it terrestrialized into a dragon type. Oops. I thought it was going to be ice type. I don't know what I'm doing. Actually got a, a contest here for once. Oh, good job! But also, get out of there because I want you to gain experience. How did he know? <laughs> Oof. Victory.
Thunder Wave. No. It has Nuzzle, which is very good for dealing chip damage, and also para paralyzing. Upper room for a loop. Um, why does it zoom in on his stomach? Oh, because he's hungry again. I see. Again, that's one of those things you'd find out if you were reading the dialogue. My level cap is 45 now. you again. She looks like she's gonna end up being evil. Like, you don't have that kind of hair and not be evil. Oh yeah, she's the champion. Like, the champion. The top champion. So she's the fifth member of the Elite Four. I don't want to battle you. I already told you I don't. Consent is a real thing, Pokemon. No means no. Try getting into the champion mindset. I've I've always been in the champion mindset. I spent the last twenty five years in the champion mindset. Oh god, the deli bird sign in the background, <laughs> phasing out of existence. Burr. Stay cool. No. <laughs> oh no. I never thought about that before. Dark type is not super effective against Annihilate. It's another reason to love to like him. God, he's such a good Pokemon. Which I didn't think I was gonna like him. I found out that Primeape got an evolution and I was like, oh man. But he's actually so good. Like when he evolved and I saw him, I was like, ooh, I wanna use this guy. I used him and he's actually really good in battle. Ooh. Wanna kill, please? Thank you. Uh... You know what? I, I really want to use Tinkaton. I haven't used it yet. It evolved, like, yesterday. I never used it once. Although, I don't think Steel type is good against fighting. No, it's not. Fairy type is super effective, though.
Mm. I know that Masquerada is going to outspeed Skeledurge, but I, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to survive and then want to kill it. Lol. That was a critical hit. Meow Scrout is a pretty cool Pokemon. So much potential. Terra Blast. Which changes height based on your Terra type if you're Terrasalot. Pretty useful. Allow me to return you to the gym. She just picks you up. Carries you to the gym. Alright. Well, that was pretty, uh... Pretty... Productive. Uh, let's get this disgusting thing out of my party. Oh, the pots are... Quatsar and Toad's Cruel and Dredna. Cool. Oh, whatever. Let's see. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of time left, so. Can't use Poke Portal right now. Why not? cutscene gonna happen or something. Oops, can't use it inside the gym, I guess. Do some random terror battles. Type Riolu, eh? Come on, work. Not a lot of people playing right now, I'm sure. Come on, man. God. I think Pokemon Online is almost always a terrible experience. Like, come on, at least tell me what you're doing. Because I'm, I'm just sitting here staring at the screen, right? Uh, 
electric type, so... Probably gonna have fighting type moves though, because it's a Riolu. I'm not used to having to think like this. <laughs> the the terrestrializing really changes how you think about Pokemon because their offensive capabilities will no longer match their defensive capabilities. So I was thinking purely about what is good against electric, not thinking about the fact that it's normally a fighting type move and therefore will have fighting type moves and therefore is super effective against rock type. Oh god. It's, it's dead. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Game took a minute to figure out, oh, it's dead, right. Um, catch, of course. I don't have a luxury ball. Alright. Alright. Ooh, Lumberry. What is that noise? Oh, it's the, like, updates. Meant to check it. Let's see if it's any good. Ah, jeez. Horse bomb, bullet punch, vacuum wave, screech. Cool. Doesn't have an electric type move though. It's got prankster. Huh. I didn't know Riolu had Prankster. Alright, let's do one more. This is how I spend a, a vast majority of my time off stream when I'm playing this, is just doing random raid battles. It's very addictive. Um, I don't want any of these. <laughs> I have a toad scroll. Okay. Pokemon, are you okay? Nope, you're not okay. Reconnect? And it's the same ones. <laughs> Alright. I guess I'm not doing another one. Alright, well, that's where I'm gonna call it a stream, because uh, I gotta go get ready for work, and then work all day, and then come home and do housework, and then collapse and die in bed. 
you know, same old, same old. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and, uh, thanks for the follow, Power of Orange, good to have you, and yeah, tune in next time for more Pokemon, most likely, or maybe something else, I don't know, we'll see, bye!